This one's gonna be on Caliber server. It's a command line program to run your Caliber content uh, server. And last time I showed you how to do this from the GUI. So if you're a new user and you want to use the GUI, uh, post your video on that in the description. But if you want to run this from the command line, this is how you do it. Now the advantages of this versus the GUI is that if you do it from the command line, you can actually run multiple libraries uh, simultaneously on a different port. Uh, as far as the GUI, you can't do that. You can only do one at a time. So that's the advantage of here. Anyways, install Calibre. It should come with all the programs that you need for the command line. And to run this here, well, first you have to determine where your uh, your libraries are located at. So mine is in uh, was it my home folder. It's called Calibre or the MA Calibre. This is my folder. And in here, I have six different um, libraries. I have one for comics. These are my porn and some other hentai stuff. Uh, and these are normal and these are my textbooks, okay? So if you wanna run uh, different libraries, you do caliber server. I'm gonna do port. Um, you can use any port you want. Make sure it doesn't use any other, uh, by any other program, okay? The ports that is. So I'd use a 57770, start it off. And we want to do daemonize because we don't want no GUI with this. So we do dash dash daemon. Close that daemonize. And I'm not sure if the daemonize works on a headless server. So if people you know, are using on a headless server, I doubt you can do that because Caliber requires you know an X session. And I don't know how you can do that without... Uh, you have to strip it out though. But anyways, back to the tutorial here. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is uh, tell it what libraries you want to use. So you do dash dash with library, uh, and then uh, the library location. So ours was in our home folder uh, called MA, and then caliber, and these are case sensitive. So make sure everything it's uh, you know has the proper case and everything. So this one is our comic that we're gonna use, right? Um, so that's on port five seven seven zero here. And then you hit enter and I'll run it from the background. So there's no GUI that pops up or anything like that. Um, next thing, let's do another one. This time we want to do, let's say our textbooks here, this one, all right? So these are my textbooks. And uh, we want to change the port for that because we already used the other port. So this one, let's say we want to use um, port 77, what is that? Five or something here, right? And there you go, that's another one. And there you go, you run two of them. The next thing you need to determine is your IP on this server that we're running here. So to figure out your IP, you do IF config. Um, and right now, since we're doing this locally, this is my local IP here. If you're doing this over the internet, then that's another tutorial, but uh, you wanna do it over the internet, you have to find out your real IP. So this is locally just within our, uh, you know, your router uh, or Wi-Fi or whatever. So this is my IP here, right, that we're gonna use. Uh, so that's the old school way to do it with IF config. But if you wanna do uh, the, the newer ways, IP space and A. And it's the same thing to give you your IP here, right, um, for that. Anyways, uh, now that we figured out your IP and we have our ports, uh, our ports was, what was that? We have one port at uh, Five seven 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 five, and the other one was um, five seven seven zero, and that's all you gotta know. You now you have your IP uh, here, and now you have the port. Uh, all you gotta do is bust out your web browser, and you just paste in your um, your IP address, and the port that we want to start out with uh, was uh, the zero one, right there, and here we go. This is how it looks like when you log in with the the web UI. Um, so let me show you here. So you click on all books or you can do some other stuff if you want. So all books here. And basically these are my comics, right? You can actually organize it by uh, artists. And if you have like all the, your metadata, um, you know, that you did with the caliber, then you can view it here. I didn't do any of the metadata, but if I did, that's where it will go. And if you want to download it, uh, you can hit on the download or whatever the format was. If you have like EPUBs or CBR, CBZs, stuff like that, 
or PDFs then you can do that so you click on get and it'll actually download it to whatever computer it is and if you want to view it with different uh, views so if you're connecting this for another computer then this is what it'll look like but if you're doing it on a mobile phone or something like that this is how it looked like on a mobile phone here right so it's optimized for a different screen size I guess um, and this one's the old style that they had here so this one's the old style so you can actually click on the different ones and you see the, the images of it you can actually search from here too so you're going to search for uh, silver surfer then I'll show you just my silver surfer stuff uh, so on and so forth uh, they do have feeds but not really that important anyways that's it for the comics but like I said we, we're doing on different ports here right so this one was a uh, 57770 and the other one was uh, it ends in the, in the 5 so you click on that here and now this is another uh, content server on a different port and you click on all and see this is my uh, books that I used to have for my classes uh, so pretty much the same thing you have mobile and everything and you can download it you can stream it so that's why I don't really use this for for streaming the you know the comics or the books or whatever but there's other programs to do that I'll show you another way to do that in, in a later video uh, but anyways that's it for caliber you know server the, the command line program uh, other stuff I'll probably recommend you do let's go back here and I'll show you some of my aliases first of all because I, I do like those so these are my uh, aliases for this um, I usually like to have the library you know in a variable kind of way to determine all the path so this one is my comics uh, my porn porn and some other porn and this one's some normal stuff and this one is my textbooks and just make sure you know you want your path wherever it is to uh, match up with those uh, so that's the library variables and the thing that we want to do from uh, the, the server here uh, so all you gotta do is type out all your ports that we just did before and all you do is stick it in your um, you know your variables like this and it'll just run it real quick and if you ever want to kill it manually you can do quit here and this will kill all the uh, caliber server okay so I'm giving you an example if I want to quit uh, I can do CMX quit here and I'll actually close out all of this so if I refresh this see there's nothing it's all dead now uh, so that's how I quit uh, all the, the, the con was that the caliber servers uh, manually now I usually don't run this um, you know the caliber server manually right here but you could if you want so if I want to start it up again I do CMX server and I'll start all um, six of them so if I refresh this it will just start up again here and there you go we're back to our server here all right anyways uh, what I usually do instead of doing it manually is I just put it in my cron tab so I do in cron tab dash e here and right here this is the the parts that we used it so the only difference between this and my aliases uh, well we still have the same type of variables uh, to you know tell it where our libraries are located at but the only thing that uh, you need to put in front of it is you put at reboot so you have to at sign and at reboot and once your computer starts up it will actually start the server automatically um, daemonized so you don't actually see any GUI you see from the you know the background process Anywho, that's what I've been doing for that. I don't use it that much, but it's also convenient if you ever need to look up if you have that book or that comic already. And since I'm running this on my server, I don't want to, you know, bust out the GUI. I rather bust out the uh, web UI than the GUI uh, for looking up stuff. Anywho, that's Caliber Server. The advantage, like I said, is you can run multiple libraries at the same time on different ports. Uh, link will be in the description for all the notes and everything. That'll be it for this one.